Hey, it's just Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, we're going to talk about the actual cost for $10,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 70-year-old female. Now, keep in mind, you can go to just about any page on our website at funeralfunds.com, put in the state, we're licensed in all 50 states, put in the coverage amount, birthday, and it will pull up a quarter that's the same one we use for helping people. It will show you all the different insurance companies and you can look at all the pricing out there. So let's dive into this. So the first thing you should ask yourself if you're a 70 year old female looking for $10,000 is, is, is that going to be enough money for when you pass away for what your needs are? Now, if you're going to have a cremation, then whoopity doo. Yeah. 10,000 is pretty dang good. The average cost of a cremation in the United States right now is just between one to $2,000. Now, that's if you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. Okay, so nothing fancy. Now, if you're going to have a some sort of remembrance of life ceremony or celebration of life ceremony, something like that, it's probably going to be about thirty-five to $4,500 on average. So, you know, at it, 70 years old at $10,000, I mean, I think you're probably pretty good. So good for you. Now, m maybe you've only got $5,000 and you want to add a little bit covered. So if, if you've got $5,000 and... You know, you might say, hey, well, can I just add 5000 Absolutely. We can help you out with that. You know, two policies that total up to $10,000 are great. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pay everything you need. So just keep that in mind. Now, you know, for a burial, you know, $10,000, if you walk into a funeral home right now, pretty much anywhere in the United States with a $10,000 check, they would probably get it done. Now, it's not going to be anything fancy mind you. But, you know, most funeral homes are not going to let a $10,000 check walk down the street, right? So again, not fancy. The challenge is if you're 70 years old and you plan on living a while, like maybe up to 75 or 80 or 85, then $10,000 is not going to stand the test of time due to inflation. So as prices go up, everything gets more expensive, including burials. So if funds were a little tight for you right now, we would encourage you just get the $10,000. That's going to take care of the most immediate need. You know, I can tell you one thing, your family having $10,000 is better than having no $1,000. So do that and, and keep this in mind. We can always add more coverage later. So if you wanted to add another, you know, 2,500 or 5,000 or something later, you just let us know. We can follow back up with you later. So just keep that in mind. But uh, as a rule, most of the people we're helping are somewhere between, you know, like 10, 15, maybe even $20,000. But again, just go with what fits your budget. That's kind of the most important thing. First rule of insurance is have insurance, right? So we also recommend you get first day coverage. And that's what we specialize here at Funeral Funds, first day coverage or benefits with low cost same day approvals. Now, the reason that's important is none of us knows when we're going to die, right? We just never have a clue. Could be 20 minutes, could be 20 years. So the, the important thing is, is you want a policy that if you sign up for it today and, you know, God forbid you die tomorrow, it's going to pay out in full. And there's policies out there that have two-year waiting periods that don't do that. I'll get into that in, in a moment here. Now, a lot of people will say, well, you know, don't those have health questions? Doesn't first day coverage have health questions? Well, yes, it does. But we work with enough different insurance companies that it's generally not an issue. 90, 95% of the people we're helping qualify for first day coverage. So don't be worried if you've got some health issues at all. Really kind of the most major things that would uh, restrict you from getting first day coverage is just this really significant stuff like, you know, you've got a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months or you've got dementia, or you're on dialysis, or you're in a hospital or in a nursing home. The other thing that can happen is, um, you know, a lot of times, oh man, I lose count of how many times this happens, but certainly monthly somebody calls up and says, hey, we had a family member pass away. You know, the body's down at the funeral home. They didn't have insurance. We don't have any money. And we need to get this insurance really quick because the funeral home says they need the money or they're not going to do anything. And we have to let them know that, you know, unfortunately, there's not a single insurance company out there in the United States that will offer insurance for a dead person. And it's really sad that, you know, people are struggling and kind of grasping at straws 
but that's just the way it is. The, you, the thing with this insurance is you got to get the insurance before you need it. And uh, that means you got to get it while you're alive. So don't put your family in that, that terrible position where, where when you do pass away, you know, your body's down at the funeral home and they, they've got no idea how they're going to pay for it. Don't do that. Not cool thing. So let's talk about uh, uh, two-year waiting period policies. So uh, Colonial Pan, uh, they advertise like crazy their 995 plan. So most people are fairly familiar with them. And most people get fairly confused by the 995 pricing. Just be aware that that plan has a two-year two -year waiting period. It's a mandatory two-year waiting period. Uh, there's other companies out there that have two-year waiting periods, companies like uh, Mutual of Omaha, their United of Omaha product, AIG, Gerber. There's plenty of other companies out there. And, and they've all done a pretty good job of marketing and getting people to believe that the only thing they qualify for is a plan with a two-year waiting period. And nothing could be further from the truth because we, we help people with first-day coverage all day long. So don't believe that stuff. So let's take a look at uh, Colonial Pen. By and large, a Colonial Pen, you cannot buy even amounts of coverage, meaning you can't buy 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Uh, it's just, it's an interesting thing that Colonial Pen, the 995, it just ends up with kind of goofy numbers once in a while. And it's also very strange that uh, a female age 70 is the one age and the one gender where it actually turns out to be an even number at 995. It's very odd. We've run pretty much most of the numbers with Colonial Pen. And that's very, very, very interesting that this actually happened because it generally doesn't. Most other insurance companies, you can buy 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8, 10, 12, whatever it is. Uh, Colonial Pen, their per unit pricing typically spits out some kind of weird numbers like $823 or 1,273 or something like that, depending on the coverage amount. But um, so I, I know we're, we're talking about 10,000, but I wanted to show you what 995 would buy for one unit. And that's not even enough to cover a cremation, much less a burial. And keep in mind, it's not going to pay out for two years. So everything's going to be more expensive. So that $1,000 is going to buy less. Certainly not enough. Let's see. Uh, we know that one, one unit, $10,000, uh, or one unit is $1,000, I should say. So we probably just go right up to 10 units and let's see what that looks like. Again, 70-year-old females, you know. They've kind of they've kind of won the first place trophy on even coverage because we just rarely see this. Do not get fooled by this. You look at different ages, it will not be like this. So $99.50 for ten thousand dollars worth of coverage. We actually like this because now we can actually compare exact numbers to exact numbers. So let's go over to our first day coverage. We've got ten thousand dollars female, age 70. And I'm gonna hit the get quote button. And again, this is $10,000 for, I'm going to round the number here, $10,000 for $100. So, oh, well, look at this. So uh, Trinity Life Insurance Company, great company. We work with them. They have tremendous rates, uh, flexible underwriting. They accept a lot of health conditions. Uh, level coverage means first day coverage. That's exactly what you want. So here's the thing, though. $52.03 for... Again, $10,000 in coverage. So you are literally paying almost 200% more with Colonial Pen for the same amount of coverage. And you get stuck with the two-year waiting period. So why would you do that? Why would you spend twice as much money and have a two-year waiting period? And you're going to overpay on that policy for the rest of your life. So let's, if we can, again, round numbers. $100. I'm going to round this down for easy math. Say it's 50. We're going to say there's a $50 difference because it's just easy math for me, but you'll get the idea. So if you're overpaying $50 a month, you then uh, on a yearly basis, you'd be overpaying $600 a month. And a 70 year old female, if that female lives to 80, you're going to be overpaying almost $6,000. Ouch. So why would you do that? You know, we would rather we would rather see you keep that money in your own pocket and spend that money on your family while you're alive. And therefore, you get the memories while you're still alive and your family gets those memories for a lifetime. Why would you ever want to give that money to an insurance company? We don't understand. 
just uh, keep that money. Or, or theoretically, for the same amount of money, you could probably get $20,000 through Trinity Life for that same $100 as Colonial Pen. So just keep in mind, uh, you've got options, but we recommend you stay away from to your waiting period plans. And let's let's find another insurance company here, maybe one that advertises quite a bit that you might be familiar familiar with. Oh, here we go. Uh, Lincoln Heritage. A uh, fine company, uh, level coverage, but look at their pricing, $76, almost $77. And uh, Lincoln Heritage has got a thing where when you pass away, they'll call two, three funeral homes, maybe do a couple other things. And they say they're, they'll negotiate and get you the lowest, your family the lowest pricing and everything at that time. But when you take a look at it, $76. And we come down here, and this is 52 I'm just going to round numbers saying it's roughly $25 more just for easy math. So $25 times 12 would be an extra $300 a year. And if you live an extra 10 years, that's going to be an extra $3,000. So you've got, you've got a plan that where they'll just, they'll make two, three phone calls, maybe do a couple other things, but you're paying almost $3,000 for the privilege for them to do that. And you've got to ask yourself, is it really worth that extra money to do that? Now, what we recommend is we've got a free funeral and estate planning guide. We provide that free of charge. You fill out all your last wishes, everything you'd want done with your assets and where your accounts and everything are. And we just encourage you to keep that with your policy. And uh, that way your family knows exactly what to do when you're gone. They will know that you were thinking about them, caring about them. And, and loving them in advance when you are gone and just making things easy for them and you will save an awful lot of money. So uh, is there any other companies here like Lumico is 55? Um, so anyway, you'll be, you'll be able to see all these different companies on that quarter. So just go to funeralfunds.com and you can just fill out our quarter on just about any page. We've got a uh, YouTube specific one, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. And we'll include that in the comment section. And if you click on that, we've got, you know, we'll get you the best rates for our YouTube viewers. And then also you can call us at toll free, eight 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 six two nine four five six. 9456 And whether you just want to get some brand new insurance or add on to your current insurance or price shop your current insurance or get first day coverage, just keep us in mind. Uh, we'd be happy to help you out with that. When you are ready to make that move, just reach out to us. We look forward to actually contacting you and getting to know you a little bit better and see if we can help you out. But until that day comes, you take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.